Hey there, it's Board Game Dave. Welcome to another Solo Plays Sunday. Today, I'll be soloing a wonderfully cute and lovely game all about mushrooms called Mycelia, which was sent to me very graciously by the wonderful folks over at Ravensburger Games. This game plays really well at four players. Hen and I have enjoyed playing it at two players a lot as well, but it also features a very good and compelling solo mode, which of course I'll be showcasing today. Before we begin, I thought you should know that Solo Play Sundays are for charity. At the end of the game today, I'll donate double my score to a charity, which this week is the Rainforest Alliance, as recommended by viewer Casper Spangard. I'll talk more about the Rainforest Alliance at the end of the video, but if you have a recommendation for a charity I should check out, or a game I could play for the next Solo Play Sunday, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, welcome to this mystical land of Mycelia where this AI opponent, Gwydion, and I are gonna be competing to be the first to remove our dewdrops from our board and deliver them to the Shrine of Life here in the middle of the forest. So, uh, I've got my cards ready to go. I've got my board set up thusly, as you can see, so I'll go ahead and remove this for now. And I'm gonna draw three cards from my deck and we will get started. So again, the goal of the game is to get these dewdrops off our board. I've got 20, Gwydion's got 20, and we're just gonna deliver them up here to the shrine and see what happens. So, first hand here, I've got some leaf income, so I'll go ahead and take two leaves, which I just realized I don't have anywhere nearby, so there we go. I take two leaves, and then uh, Gwydion does not get any leaves. And I can move a blue dewdrop and a red dewdrop from my board. So the idea is to get them to the portal. The portal transports them to the shrine. So a blue and a red. And of course, part of the game, uh, a big part of the game is looking at what cards are available because this is a deck builder. These cards get top decked immediately. So uh, I could use these cards if I can purchase them my next turn. So I kind of want to plan accordingly. Now with two leaves, there's not much I can do, but I do want to kind of Look at the options out there, of course. So maybe I'll move this red one up one, and then I'll use this to move this blue one up here because I really like this one and this one, but I won't over explain my decisions. That's my turn, I've got two leaves, and I draw back up to my hand limit, which is three in this game. So that's my turn. Gwydion's turn is very simple. We take one of these, <laughs> not that simple. We take one of these tiles and flip it over and do what it says. So in this case, this is me, right? So I take one leaf, add it to my supply, and Gwydion's gonna remove three dewdrops to the shrine, which is very, very strong. So that's about as strong a card uh, as it can pull. So there's three, and it's back to me, okay. Pretty simple. Right. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more leaves, first of all, <laughs> and then take a look. So I'm getting two leaves, I'll go ahead and do that now. One, two, and then I can move one of my green do drop. So, well, these are really far away, so I do want to get those out of there. But I also, hmm, yeah, this is tricky. I'm trying to plan ahead at what I've got here. Let me go ahead and move this green one over one. Oops. And that'll be the end of my turn. I've got five leaves, so I could buy either of these, which lets you remove uh, do drops or move do drops, of course. They're both pretty good. This one is from the mini expansion included in the game. You can tell by that icon. That lets me immediately discard or scrap a card from my discard pile, which is really strong. That's actually really tempting. I love being able to remove a do drop from anywhere on my board. So I think for four do drops, oh, these are both really good. You know what? I actually might go with this one because this one gives you three leaves and lets you remove a do drop from anywhere, no questions asked. So Let's spend three, or sorry, let's spend five. Throw that right back in the supply and that gets top decked, as we said. And now that my turn's over, we can refill at the end of my turn. So we'll do that. And I'll go ahead and shuffle up and draw my three cards. But while I do that, let's resolve Gwydion's next tile, which is flipping its tile over and discarding two. So the way this works is, um, not that, flipping this over, right? Anytime this side shows up, we remove a dew drop. But in this case, we're flipping it over to the non-X side. So nothing happens there, but we do remove the two here. So Gwydion is uh, running away with the game. I haven't removed a single dew drop yet. So that's okay. I think my game tends to ramp up. Gwydion's game tends to stay the same. So here's my top decked card and then two more from my pile and let's take a look. So, well, there's six leaves total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, Gwydion doesn't get leaves, so I get six leaves and I discard one from anywhere, a dewdrop, so that's awesome. So here's my six. 
And then let's go the one farthest from the portal, this guy, and go ahead and just whoop, teleport that straight to the shrine. And now I've got six, and I was eyeing this one up earlier. Yeah, that's a great way, again, with that instant bonus of uh, scrapping a card from your discard pile, right? That's a great way to get rid of some of these basic cards that I started with, which you can see up in the top right there. That's a basic card. So I think I'll get rid of this one. Yeah, let's do that. So I'll spend four. Here we go. We're going to top deck this. And then we're going to go ahead and scrap that starter leaf card. Just remove that from the game up there. Okay. And I could buy something for two, but there's nothing out here for two. So that's the end of my turn. Draw back up, one, two, three. And, okay, so Gwydion wants to replenish this market row, which I'm certainly okay with. Doesn't, you know, doesn't hurt me at all. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's all it does. Interesting. There we go, one, two, three, four, five. And back to my turn. Well, I've got my two leaves and I've got a hand like this. So. Add another leaf to my supply. And then I can, now this icon is very important. The exclamation point means exactly that number. So this is remove a dewdrop from a space where there's exactly one. So I tried to deliberately do that, uh, leave those alone farthest away from the portal. So that's good. Or I can move two from a single space. And then I've got my water move. So let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and discard this one, which is pretty far away from the portal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So, same difference, let's get rid of that. And then with this guy, let's maybe move, oh, how about we move one of these over? Okay, that's it. Uh, three leaves, I could buy this, I could buy this. Oh, this is really nice, instantly get five leaves. So it's actually the same as this card, unfortunately, the one I just scratched, but I get that instant bonus. That's really strong. That's very strong, actually. That's really tempting, that instant five. Which means I can actually buy two cards. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I, and you normally don't buy two cards in one turn, but in this case, I'm gonna spend my two leaves to buy this one. Can you hear the forest song? It's gonna give me an instant five leaf rebate. Now we don't replenish yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my five. Now I've got six leaves to spend. And this is really good too. Discard three water drops where there's only a single water drop. That's really strong, but this is really strong too. Discard one from a green space and one adjacent drop. That's really strong. And there's no like exactly one limit. So I think that'll be the one. So spend six to also top deck that card. So there you go, a twofer. There's a, another one and there's another one and I've got my three cards. Pretty powerful turn coming up next turn. All right, this is a nice one. This one actually just gives me one free movement. So I know what my next cards are and I get to move some cards or some, some dew drops around. That's very, very powerful. So why don't I, oh, I don't know. I don't feel super strongly about this one. Um, I will just move uh, this guy in, I suppose. So that was the move given to me by Gwydion. It was very nice. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and take a leaf. I'm going to use this one to teleport this one and an adjacent dewdrop. So those two, which fills this up. We'll talk about that in a second. So this one's done. And then I can move a red one. So maybe, well, the only red one I have is this. So I'll go ahead and move this forward like so. Okay, cool. That's the end of my turn. I only have one leaf, so I'm not buying anything. And now that my turn is finished, I guess I should draw my three cards. We're gonna go ahead and spin this big shrine board. So that is actually really fun. And then this die that's here is gonna show us where to replenish some dewdrops onto our board. So as we go along, I'm actually gonna add more dewdrops to my board. Gwydion, believe it or not, doesn't get any new dewdrops. So uh, that is the big disadvantage for me. So I've got my three cards here. We're gonna go ahead and spin this. Dew drops are gonna go away. Oh, you probably can't see that, here we go. There it is, so satisfying. All right, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, reset that. And it looks like a leaf there, so we consult our little chart here and wherever there's leaves, uh, right there. Those two I'm gonna go ahead and add two to my board. So one here 
and one right under my portal. And I usually try to clean these out of the way. And then importantly, we flip this over every time we spin the dial. So spin the shrine. So let's go ahead and flip that over for next time. All right, and that is all I have to say about that. My turn is done, Gwydion's turn, and we are flipping this over, which again means discard a dewdrop and discard a dewdrop. So that's two. My goodness, there we go. Now, importantly, I'll say this now, on Gwydion's next turn, we are not gonna use that tile. We're gonna shuffle and redo it. So you don't ever know what that, you know, you don't ever know for sure what the next tile is, just so you know. All right, well, I've got my three basic move cards, which is unfortunate, but at least that means my next turn is gonna be hopefully pretty strong. So why don't we, oh, I don't have any red. Now I can move something into red, of course. So I think I'll do that so I don't waste this card. I'm gonna use this blue to move this into red and then I use my red to move this northward. And then I use my green to, uh, why don't we just, I, I have a plan for those. So I'll just go ahead and move this green one up. That's what I'll do. All right, hope that made sense. And I still only have one leaf, so I guess my turn is done. Now it's time to shuffle Gwydion's tiles all up. I'll try to make this kind of fast. A little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And let's see what comes up next. Now, of course, Gwydion only has 13 uh, dew drops left, whereas I have five, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17 left. So I'm way, way, way behind, but that's okay. I get a leaf. Gwydion removes a thing. By the way, Gwydion, I keep saying, you tell me what this is supposed to, uh, how this is supposed to be pronounced. Gwydion? Gwydion? I don't know, but maybe someone can chime in and let me know. Let's see, so we did that, we did that. I need to draw back up. Yes, all right, my turn, here we go. Here's some nice cards. So, uh, get three and discard one, that's really strong. Let's do this. So I'm gonna get three leaves, discard any one dew drop. Again, that flexibility is really nice. So that will let me get rid of this one. And then I get rid of a dew drop that's by itself, which I choose this blue one right here. And then lastly, I get a leaf. So now I've got six leaves. Now we're talking. So this is a cool one. This is scrap a card and wherever I have exactly two dew drops, I can remove one. I can do that twice. Now, this means all of their opponents get two leaves, but Gwydion doesn't get leaves. So that's actually really powerful. I'm tempted to do that one. This is really good too, though. Again, this is that three solitary dew drops you can remove. That's really, really strong, especially since I have three. You know what? That might be the one I want. Let's do that. I gotta, I gotta speed up my game here instead of working on my engine so much. So I'll buy that for six. Top deck it, draw three. My turn is done. And let's see what's going on over here. Oh, again, scrap the market rail. That doesn't bother me. It's, it's odd that uh, Gwydion doesn't benefit at all from that, you know? Kind of odd, but that's okay. It also has that tile that lets me move and that's it. So sometimes works out in my favor. Oh, look at this guy. Scrap a card, if you want to, by the way, you don't have to. And where you have at least two dew drops, you can discard up to three from a red space, a leaf space. That's really powerful, cool. All right, well, it looks like three dew drops for me. So here's my three and then discard three isolated Dewdrops. Now, you know what we've never talked about are these. So on my turn, at any point during my turn, I can uh, activate these once per turn by flipping them over. I can use one leaf to reset the market row or spend three leaves to move any one dewdrop on my board. So that actually is something I could do now just because I sort of have this tactic thing going on. But you know what? The card I wanted isn't even out here anymore. It was um, this guy. I've been sort of setting up my board to have dewdrops around this red space in case I got this, but I guess that's not gonna happen. So I'll just go ahead and discard the three solitary dewdrops in the water. One, two, three. And that'll be the end of my turn. I do have three leaves. I could buy this. Not bad, not super great, plus three leaves. I'll hold on to that for later. And I should draw my three cards, I suppose. And let's see what Gwydion is doing. I get a leaf and it discards three tokens. Dew drops. Wow. Yep, I'm way. Whoops. Oh, goodness gracious, I did not mess anything up, did I? I think that was okay. <laughs> so let me get my leaf. 
and we'll take three off here. So Gwydion is down to down to nine. I believe this leftover dewdrop, since it doesn't fit on the board, just gets discarded. So we'll roll that, empty out that shrine in just a second while I finish shuffling over here. And there we go, I've got my hand ready. And we rotate, 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 like so, like that. All right, I've got a moon. Moon is just once, that's not too bad. Plop that right there. Flip this back over. Again, AI does not get any additional dew drops. So there we go. And there we go. And it's back to my turn. Let's see. Plus a leaf. Okay. Sure. And oh, I like this guy. Uh, teleport one from a grass space and adjacent. So again, I see a really nice one right here. Let's get these out of here. And then I can. Nix a solitary dew drop. Well, this one's very, very far from the portal, so let's do that one as well. That's a great turn. I'm very happy with that. Draw three. And let's move on. Here we go. All right, flip this over, which is back to nothing, and then remove two. Yikes. I am quite behind here. Oh, boy. Oh, this is nice, but I've only got one isolated water droplet. So this is where you need to sort of finesse things a little bit. All right, let me get my leaf. And then what I'll do is I'll spend three leaves. Again, this is a one-time thing, once per turn. I'm gonna use this ability. And by the way, there are more abilities that can be added as a instant bonus on these cards, but just hasn't shown up yet. So I'll spend three leaves to move any one dew drop because that'll let me move this into the water. Actually, this one's better. I'll move that into the water. And I wish I could move another one, uh, you know, into a water space, but I can't. It seems like. So this is kind of wasted, unfortunately, because this is gonna let me wipe this and wipe this. I think that was a good move, though. I think that was pretty good. Still removed two. All right, three leaves. Again, I'm not gonna do anything with that. Let's flip this back over. And it is Gwydion's turn. Here he goes. Flip this back over. Uh-oh, so that discards one, and then that also discards one, so two like that. Oh my gosh, five left for Gwydion. I've got eight left. So, whoops, doesn't help anybody. Let's see. So that's gonna give me five leaves and I get to discard one. That's pretty good. So let me get my five leaves. Here's six in, one out. And I guess I'll get rid of this one since that's pretty far away from the portal. I kind of want to keep this in case I can discard these two. Is that dumb? Is that dumb? Hmm, this is remove one from anywhere. Oh, I don't know. Well, maybe I should get rid of this one. I really don't know. Sure, let's get rid of that. And then I can move a red one, but I don't have one on a red one. I could spend three to move this here, move it up. I guess I could try that. Yeah, maybe, sure, I'll spend three. To move this over, again, that's using this ability. And then I will use this card to move this up. And I've got five there. What I really need is a card that lets me discard a whole bunch at a time. But unfortunately, it's a dirt space. And cards like this, they, you know, the dewdrops need to be on that red or green space, unfortunately. So none of these cards are really going to help me. I could wipe the whole market row for one, but I'm not sure that's going to help me either. This is discard exactly two from a two space. That's not going to help me either. <laughs> Oh, shucks. This is not looking good. I think what I'll do, I was holding off. I should have done this earlier. I'll spend two leaves to buy this card, which will give me three for the next turn, and hopefully something really good will show up here. Maybe. All right, that's my turn. Um, That's not terrible, I guess. Hmm. We'll see. All right, I am done. Let's... Uh, oh, we need to shuffle. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, we actually need to spin this. It is full again, so... Let's see what I have to do. Great. Oh, I'm wondering, did I flip this over last time? Oh gosh, I don't remember. I think I spawned one. Oh, I don't remember. I think I spawned one here. So I probably should have flipped this, I think. And now we have a sun. So the sun is right here in the middle. All right. We are really, really coming close to the end here, I believe. All right, let's take a look. Let's see, that was my turn I was gonna draw up. And then we need to shuffle for Gwydion. So give me just one second here as I 
shuffle. I like to be a thorough shuffler. Don't want to be accused of any sort of underhandedness. All right, there's my three. And we're going to shuffle these up. Kind of sort them out like so, like so. And just make it real fast, like so. And what do we have here? It says, ah, reset this. That's kind of good because I needed some fresh cards. Oh, so here we go. When you get this card, you immediately get D, which is uh, take a do drop off your board. That's pretty strong, actually. Not to mention, it gives you four leaves, but it costs six. So back to me. Oh, that gives me six. That's a possibility. But if I want to do this, every time it costs me three leaves. So that's pretty pricey. And I've got a red move and a green move. So let's move red. Let's move red up into the water since I've got those water things. And then we'll use green to get this into the portal. And then for six, that is tempting. Because if I can get that leaf engine going, I can just remove uh, dew drops from all over the place. I like it. I like that. Although, wait a minute. This one gives me this which is move up to two from a space. That's not bad either. Oh gosh, lots of decisions. I think I'll go with this one. Spend six, put this on the top, drop to three, one, two, three. I am finished. Oh, this, I have to talk about this. This is so cool. When you buy this card for five or eight, immediately, wherever you have one dew drop, you can remove it and then add a new portal to your board where that dew drop was. Uh, Hannah had that the one game. It is such a cool ability, two portals. That's huge, I love it. All right, here we go. Flip over and deliver two dewdrops. So, Gwydion is down to three. I have seven. I am, whew. All right, <clears throat> interesting. So we got this one again. Well, let me do this first. I'm gonna get four leaves. Oh, you know what, I didn't get my, uh, this. All right, so, I got four leaves. Next, I could, oh my gosh. I didn't plan this very well. So I can nix three isolated water dewdrops. So I can spend three to move this in and then nix two. That's probably a pretty, a pretty good idea. I'll do that. So spend three to move this over. Although I could really nix it too, but it, it's the same difference. And then go ahead and use this to discard three of them up to three. So one, two, and I can't do anything with this. So that's okay. I've got one leaf left over. I'm certainly not spending that. One, two, three. Back to Gwydion, flip it over. I hope nothing too powerful. I get a leaf and Gwydion removes one dewdrop. So <laughs> she's down to two, I'm down to five. And by the way, although I did start the game, which you can tell with my mushroom, um, although I did start the game, if I, you know, uh, remove all my dewdrops, Gwydion does not get another turn like in the normal game. So just so you know, this is interesting, okay. This one usually lets me remove one isolated dewdrop or it lets me move two. And in this case, moving two is the same as removing two, one, two. So that's good. And then it looks like I'm just getting leaves. One, two, three leaves. So again, spending three, uh, these are the same for me because I'm just moving it in. So I'll spend three, I think. Is there something I need to buy? I don't like my options. I don't like my options. So I'm gonna spend three to just move one in and hope that this next turn, I get enough to uh, to finish it. So that's my turn, draw three, and here we go. Something forgiving and kind, please. Oh, oh no. <gasps> I had hopes for a second, but look, it flips over the tile, so it removes one, and then it removes another one, and that's one, two, and we don't even spin it. The game is over. That is it, Gwydion won, and on my next turn, I would have been able to remove one from there, and then with those three leaves, remove the other one. So that was very, very neck and neck, but unfortunately, I'm left here with two dewdrops left over, so Gwydion is the winner of this game. Congratulations, little dude. And that was a very tight game of Mycelia. 
with 18 dewdrops removed from my board, we're gonna go ahead and send $36 to the Rainforest Alliance. This is a nonprofit organization that's been around since 1987 and currently has operations in over 70 countries worldwide. Their goal is to build an alliance to protect forests, improve the livelihoods of farmers and forest communities, promote their human rights, and help them mitigate and adapt to the climate crisis. You can find out more about the Rainforest Alliance by clicking the link down in the description as usual. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around for another solo playthrough. If you're interested in watching more solo playthroughs, you can check out this playlist right there. And if you're looking for other new fantastic family games, you can check out this video right there. And in the meantime, have a wonderful week. Take care and happy gaming. Bye.